Yo, what is up, Sex Beast Crazy Rabbit here, and today I'm going to be doing my best to explain the Black Ops 3 Zombie storyline. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a warning right now. I've tried to record this so many times, but I do eventually just end up confusing myself because this really does get confusing. And I'm going to do my best to explain it so it's not as confusing, but it, it really is confusing because we're dealing with multiple different universes, multiple different timelines, crisscrossing through universes and timelines. So it does get very confusing, but I think I have it all pieced together. I'm going to try to do my best to explain it, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. Sorry, so the first thing we should talk about is that there are different universes in the zombie storyline. So we do know of three so far. We do know that there are three definite different universes. So we have the Origins universe, the Shadows of Evil universe, which also holds the Mob of the Dead group in a way. Like the original Mob of the Dead group before they actually died were in the Shadows of Evil universe. And we also have the Origins universe. So we have three different universes, which there might be a fourth. I think there is a fourth that maybe we don't know about or that already exists, but we just don't know enough about it. The reason I think this is because in the giant in Shadows of Evil, around the map there were scraps of paper, and if you put them together, you get these two images. Now this blue one has a box in the middle with a KN44, and then looks like four universes on each corner, so to say. And then if we go over to this one, which is found in Shadows of Evil, and I did not find this, I'm taking no credit. Uh, Liam, FT Winner, actually found this. Link to his channel will be in the description, so go check him out. He's the one that did all this. I took no part in it. And like I said before, we get this image, and in each corner, there seems to be a different universe. And we can see in this little left hand there's a bunch of Earths with X's crossed through it, so we can definitely tell that there are multiple different universes. But it looks like in this storyline we're mainly kind of dealing with four. We probably are dealing with a lot more than four, but mainly we might just be dealing with four of them. So maybe we might get introduced to that fourth one in the DLC, or maybe we've already been introduced to it, but we do know that there are three exactly, so we know that there are Origins, the original one, and Shadows of Evil. Alright, so first I should probably explain... Um, the Origins Easter Egg cutscene. I feel like that should probably be the first thing I try to explain because it is definitely one of the most complicated. So the Origins Easter Egg cutscene, I believe, happens in the Shadows of Evil universe. Let me explain. So the Origins Easter Egg cutscene goes like this. Samantha and Eddie are playing, and then eventually you hear explosions in the background and you can see the sky light up. Maxis is like, alright children, put away your toys and come to the basement and lock the windows. Samantha locks the windows and Eddie's like, I wish the heroes in our stories were real, Sam, and then she's like, me too, but my father says he has a plan. So why exactly would they be, you know, in trouble like this? What's going on? Why does her father have a plan? What's the plan for? Why does he wish the heroes were real? So I did a little bit of, you know, investigative work, like detective style, to try to figure out what exactly could this mean. And for the longest time, we really didn't know exactly what this cutscene meant. Well, we had a lot of different theories, but no one really knew. And I think I have it figured out. So like I previously stated, I believe the Origins Easter Egg cutscene happens in the Shadows of Evil universe, and I believe it happens after Shadows of Evil. So, in Shadows of Evil, what's going on? What's the deal with Shadows of Evil? So, in Shadows of Evil, we have the Shadow Man and his master are trying to basically take over the universe, and they're having the four main characters that we play as do it. And he's basically tricking the four main characters into doing what he wants them to do. To get the summoning key, to open up the rifts, kill the gatekeepers, and then allow his master to come in and take over this universe. Now, the gatekeepers, their job is to make sure you do not do that. The gatekeepers are kind of good guys. Their job is to make sure you don't open the rift, because when you open up rifts, that's how you get the zombies. That's how you get all this bad stuff that's happening. You are fucking with the universe, and the gatekeeper's job is to make sure you do not do that. Their job is to make sure your universe and reality stays intact and that you don't fuck it up. The Shadow Man is basically having you do the opposite. He's basically making you open up the rifts so that way you can get all this devastation and destruction in here. And that's how the zombies are getting there. Nobody's really controlling the zombies. It's when you open all these rifts and you're messing with the universe, that's how the zombies get there. And the Shadow Man basically said it that this universe has been wrenched from reality. All these zombies here were actually people, but they couldn't handle it and something overcame them and they became zombies. And that the curse might actually affect that somewhat, that the curse might actually make sure you don't turn into a zombie. Well, that's what I've been able to take from that, is that the curse is actually helping you not become a zombie and not become like all these other people. So, the events of Shadows of Evil happen. We ended up stopping the Shadow Man and his master. We ended up destroying all that stuff. But the damage has already been done. We've already, you know, fucked with the universe enough. We still have zombies. And we, the reason I say this, that the damage has already been done, and that we still have zombies, is because we don't get an endgame. You know, that never happens. We don't get an endgame like some other maps. We keep going. We keep playing. So I think that after we do the Shadows of Evil Easter Egg, after Richtofen steals the ball, which we will get into here in a minute, that the damage has been done, so there's still going to be zombies. There's still going to be all this chaos and stuff. we still got the aftermath to deal with all this. And that's when we slowly slide into the Origins cutscene. You know, we hear bombs in the background, we hear, we see explosions, and I don't think this is exactly from World War II. I, I just can't get along with that train of thought. 
Because Shadows of Evil happens in 1942, and World War II kind of ended not too long after that. That was like kind of like the climax of World War II, so... I don't think the Origins cutscene, the explosions in the background and all that stuff, had to deal with World War II. I think it had to have dealt with all the stuff that happened from Shadows of Evil. So Maxis calls them down to the basement, and Samantha says that her father has a plan, a plan to end all this. So I think the zombies were still rampaging the Earth. I think that their dimension was, you know, kind of still falling apart. They didn't really exactly mend it, they just stopped the guy from coming in and taking over. So, so far we have Shadows of Evil is in the same universe as the Origins cutscene. Not the Origins gameplay, those are different. But the Origins cutscene and Shadows of Evil, same place. Shadows of Evil is before the Origins cutscene. So, just imagine a straight line, we have Shadows of Evil and Origins. This is where shit gets confusing. So what was Maxis' plan? What was he trying to accomplish? What was he gonna do to solve all this? How did he have a plan to fix all this? So my guess is that Maxis either sent Samantha to save her or to go get help away from his universe. He knows his universe is still kind of falling apart. It's not gonna last that long. And we, the reason we know this is because Maxis has left a radio even in the Shadows of Evil universe that says, you know, I tried my best to solve it. I really couldn't do it. I'm sorry that this universe is going to, or dimension, whatever he says, is going to come to an end. I'll let you guys listen to the radio right when I'm done saying this. And he basically apologizes that he couldn't help this universe. To any survivors of this realm, I am truly sorry. I wish I could offer you some words of comfort, but I cannot. It is my hope that I can rid the universe of the evil that has plagued us for so long. But in my heart, I know many more dimensions will be lost forever as we continue our journey towards peace. So he knows this universe is going to get destroyed, and in order to maybe save his universe, he sends Samantha to Origins, an either desperation attempt to save her, or maybe to ask for help. And the reason I think that he sent her to Origins is because, one, the Samanthas are kind of saying, they sound exactly the same. Samantha knows of her father, she knows where to go, she knows who to look for. And we also know that the Origins, Samantha, like the overhead person, the one that's giving you the Max Samos and stuff that's trying to help you, isn't related to that Origins Maxis because Ma Maxis even says that he doesn't have a daughter, well not that he knows of. And also Maxis gets his brain cut out so he has no chance to ever get a daughter. So that's what I think happened. Now let's back up a little bit and try to provide some more proof as to why I think Shadows of Evil and the Origins cutscene happened in the same universe. So if we come to this multiplayer map, Infection, we come over here, we see this house, and it's just chilling off in the distance, and this house is mentioned a lot in Zombies. It's mentioned quite frequently in the giant Shadows of Evil. So if we come back to these scraps of paper that are pieced together, we can see a house right there, and it says the children will be safe in the house. What exactly does that mean? You know, we really don't know, but that, I'm pretty sure, is the same exact house. And this house looks exactly like the one on multiplayer, so there has to be a connection there. There has to be something that we just can't figure out yet. So I did a little bit of more, you know, researching, and Takio mentions the house quite a lot. Everyone has mentioned the house. So if we go back to the giant and go to some radios, one of the radios on Maxis says that the children have left the house and it feels so lonely, and he says something about nuclear fallout. Well, in real life, the nuclear bombs were only dropped on Japan, so what exactly is going on? You know, in World War II, nuclear bombs were never dropped in Germany or anywhere near that. They were only dropped in Japan, so how could there be nuclear fallout? So I think that kind of even, even just a little bit, doesn't really support it that much, but just a little bit supports my theory that their universe, the Shadows of Evil universe, is still being destroyed and they're trying to fight back. They're trying to fight back so the universe doesn't get destroyed, but the zombies are just overrunning everything. So they're nuking places, they're bombing places. That's why I think Max has sent Samantha away. He's trying to protect her or maybe get help. And also, if we look around the map infection, we also have a couple more relationships to Shadows of Evil. We have the pictures of these boxers right here, which can also be found in Shadows of Evil. And we also have these uh, cream cakes, you know, delicious cream cakes. These can also be found in Shadows of Evil and also can be found on the map infection. So we have some references to Shadows of Evil. We have this house, which is also 
probably the same house in the Origins Easter Egg cutscene. I mean, it has to be. It looks, from what I've seen, we've only seen the inside of the Origins Easter Egg cutscene house, but I mean, it looks like it would be this house. I mean, what other house could it possibly be? It has to be Samantha's room. This has to be that house. And if all that stuff is in the same map, maybe that's hinting towards the fact that they're in the same universe as well. Now again, I can't be certain. I think this is a theory, I think this is a very plausible theory, but I cannot be 100% certain. But to me, this is the best way I can see that all this stuff fits together. Is that Origins, the cutscene, and Shadows of Evil happen in the same universe. Maxis, trying to figure out a way to either, maybe either protect Samantha or find help, sends her away somehow. How exactly does he do that? I don't know. Maybe she left by accident, but it seems like from that radio in the giant that he meant to send her away to protect her. So Samantha goes to Origins, um, goes there, and finds that the same exact thing that happened in Shadows of Evil is happening in the Origins. Rifts are opening, you know, the Origins group 935 is digging in the ground with 115, they're creating rifts, and that's why the Templars are spawning. The Templars and the Gatekeepers, and the Gatekeepers were those like red witches in Shadows of Evil, are basically the same thing. Their, their job is to make sure you do not open rifts and don't fuck up things. And when 115 is being drilled into the ground in those generators, you're opening rifts, and that's why the zombies are there. The zombies are not being controlled by Samantha or anything like that. The zombies are there because you're opening rifts and you're just trying to destroy the universe, and bad things are going to start happening when you do that. So that's why the Templars spawn is basically to stop you. So the Templars are good guys, but you kill them. Wow, way to go, douches. So Samantha comes to that universe, offers some help. She's like, hey, I can help you guys, but you need to listen to me. Her universe is trapped. She just, you know, she constantly says she just wants to go home. So eventually, at the end of the Origins Easter Egg, you open up a rift. And the original group goes in, Samantha is free, so maybe they all head back to the Shadows of Evil universe. Now, this is the only part that I am not sure of whatsoever. We have no idea what happens after the Origins Easter Egg. We know a little bit. So we do know that Richtofen and Maxis got together and created a plan. How do they do that? Did they do that in the Shadows of Evil universe? Did they do that somewhere else? We don't know. And we also know that the other three from Origins, Takio, Nikolai, and Dempsey, they went their own separate way. They did something else. How are they going through space and time? We don't know. But we do know that they all came back to the Shadows of Evil universe. They had to because the Shadows of Evil group mentions the original group. They mentioned Nikolai. I think it's Nikolai. I can't remember who exactly they mentioned, but they mentioned them. So they have to have met at some point. And if my theory is correct, this would have been the point when they all came back. Maybe that the original four from Shadows of Evil have met up with all these characters. Maybe they met up with Richtofen and Maxis and all of them to discuss things. Because maybe they're still the survivors because they're cursed. Maybe Maxis went to do some research on them. So they've had to have met at some point. Now this is all theory that they all met up. I cannot prove it whatsoever. Besides all a little bit of evidence that I gave you about the quote and stuff. We really don't know much about what happened. But after this we do know that Richtofen is going through universe to universe trying to find his Richtofen. Now, he can't exactly get a good location because he doesn't know the exact date and the exact time of when all this stuff happens. So we can assume that after he got the Shadows of Evil key, he eventually went to the Giant. And after he went to the Giant, that's when the, all the characters met up. And another thing we do know is that from the events of the Origins Easter Egg cutscene and all that other stuff, and the group meeting in Shadows of Evil, we do know that two years pass between that and the Giant, because that's a quote that they actually say in the game, that it's been two years, I believe Tank Dempsey says it, it's been two years. So, Richtofen and Maxis were able to go, well Richtofen was, Richtofen's going from universe to universe trying to figure out a way to stop this, and it basically looks like he's trying to go to the original universe and kill Richtofen. Now, why does he want to kill Richtofen? Maybe because he was probably one of the great evils. Maybe him and Maxis were probably the ones that destroy a lot of stuff or fuck up a lot of things. Maybe they're one of the reasons that all these other universes are getting fucked with is because of Richtofen and Maxis, because of the pyramid, because of all this other stuff they got into. So Richtofen, He's looking for himself, he got the summoning key from the Shadows of Evil group, he's looking for himself, he eventually finds himself and kills himself. Now the other three, what, what were they doing? What were they doing all this time? It looks like to me that they were trying to find the test subjects, they were trying to find the original group, they were trying to find the original Takio, original Dempsey, and the original Nikolai. We know that they were trying to do that, and Maxis and Richtofen didn't want that to happen. Maxis even said specifically in a radio that he did not want the original test subjects to be awakened because they just would do bad things. He even said that in a radio that he did not want that to happen. The Origins group is actually going through and trying to find them, and they eventually do meet up with the original Richtofen after he'd already killed himself. So they were trying to find the original Richtofen and get information out of him of where the test subjects were because they wanted to continue the storyline. They didn't want to fuck up history, because they don't know what's going to happen. You know, bad things could probably happen if you rewrite history. They don't know exactly what's going to happen, so they want to find the test subjects, but Richtofen beats them to it and kills them. 
And now you might be wondering how exactly is Rick Toffin communicating? How exactly does he know where to go? Well, he is talking to Maxis, and Maxis even said this on a radio, that Samantha's past actions allowed them com to communicate over the rift. So they're actually communicating from different universes, so maybe Maxis is still in the Shadows of Evil universe, and Rick Toffin is going through different universes trying to figure out and get what he needs done. Now, where is Samantha? How many Samanthas are we dealing with? So, so far, we know of two Samanthas. That's the only two we know about. We know about the original one and the Origins one. Now, the Origins one, she seems maybe she's back at home in the Shadows of Evil universe. That's where I think she is because in a radio in the Giant, Maxis also said that Samantha has been returned to him. Where would she have been returned from? Obviously, the Origins universe. So, Samantha came back, and but Maxis said she's acting differently and she only screams out for, for his name. She may have been returned to me. Who exactly is him? Who is it Richtofen? Was it the Shadow Man? Was it some other great evil that we don't know about? But Maxis clearly stated that Samantha is not the same as she once was and that she is completely different and that she seems terrified in all honesty. So what did Samantha learn? What exactly happened? I can't exactly say for 100% certainty. Alright, so now what exactly is happening in the Giant? So after Richtofen kills himself, he injects himself with something. I think he injected himself with the blood vials because Dempsey gives a lot of quotes saying that you stooped down to your body and you did something and he's very suspicious of Richtofen. And we also see zombie Richtofen appear in Shadows of Evil and we also see zombie Richtofen appear when you're teleporting. So my best guess is that Richtofen maybe injected that Richtofen with something. I don't know why, maybe he wanted to turn him into a zombie because if you die, there's a chance that your soul will go to Agartha or the Aether, I can't remember which one, I think it's the Aether. There's a chance that your soul could possibly go to the Aether. And maybe Origins Richtofen just didn't want the original Richtofen to go to the Aether. Maybe he wanted to make him a zombie, so that way there's no chance that he could ever come back or anything like that. And that's just a theory. I have no proof of that whatsoever. I'm just throwing theories out there and suggestions. So after Richtofen kills himself, he looks like he injects himself with something. And then we continue the stuff. We do the Easter egg. What's the Easter egg for? The Easter egg is for Maxis to be able to figure out where they are. Where exactly they are in time, where they are in the universe. He sends out a beacon, and Maxis can find that beacon and figure out where they are. Now, we've not completed the Easter egg. I do believe there's still more to the Easter egg. Hopefully there is. If there's not, then this is as far as we go. But hopefully there is more. I really do hope there is. But so far, it looks like everyone's end goal is to set things right. Richtofen wants to set everything right. He wants to, you know, even if he has to kill so many people, he wants to fix everything. He wants to set everything right. Him and Maxis are both trying to do that. Well, the other group, they didn't really want to do that. They wanted to try things, do things a different way. They all sort of have the same end goal, but they have different means of accomplishing it. But it does look like now that after Richtofen had already killed himself, that the other three are just going to follow Richtofen. And it's going to sort of be like Black Ops 1 to where Richtofen's in charge. He's got a plan. The other three don't exactly trust him, but they're going to follow through anyway. But wow, holy shit. Hopefully that didn't confuse you. A recap one more time. Shaz of Evil, own universe. Origins, own universe. Original universe, which also has the giant in it. The events of Shadows of Evil happen, they end up stopping the big bad monster, but the lingering effects still are on. That leads into the Origins cutscene. Maxis has been looking for a plan to stop this, a way to figure out how to end all this. Sends Samantha away to either protect her or ask for help. She goes to the Origins universe, stops them from getting killed from the same thing that's happening in Shadows of Evil, brings them back to Shadows of Evil. After that, Richtofen and Maxis form a plan. Richtofen goes back, steals the Shadows of Evil orb because maybe they lost it or maybe something happened between those events. But he goes back in time, steals the orb, and then goes to the Giant. Now, why are they at the Giant? Because they need to stop Richtofen because maybe Richtofen getting into the Pyramid had some really bad repercussions on the entire maybe galaxy or whatever dimension universe as a whole. So they went back to that universe to try to stop things and maybe save Samantha. So Richtofen and Maxis are trying to set things right. They're trying to figure out a way to set everything right in every universe, it looks like. And the original group, after they got to Shadows of Evil, they had to have met the Shadows of Evil group at some point. And then after that, for two years, they were wandering around trying to find the test subjects until they eventually did meet up at the Giant. And from then on, the storyline is kind of unknown. We really don't exactly know where we're going to be going. But wow, hopefully you guys aren't confused because I'm still very, very confused. Um, there's really not that much evidence to support everything that I said. But to me, this is the only way that it can all add up. 
Um, again, I really wish I had more evidence, but this is the most I have. So uh, thank you guys so much for listening, and if you guys have any ideas of how some of this stuff pieces together, or you think something happened in this universe, or you think something happened at this time, please tell me, because this is the best I can get. This is the best I can give you guys with the uh, complete storyline explanation. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys could, please hit like, and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.